Hello, welcome back to the channel. This video basically is a simple walkthrough of how I make elderflower champagne or sparkling wine and I just wanted to do it, just a voiceover one and hope you enjoy it, it's quite simple. Cheers. So the first thing we need to do is identify the elderflower. The best thing to do is look online um, if you've got any books, as much information as you can before you even attempt to, to start to pick the elderflower leaf. Um, take time now to quickly read through the information I've put on the screen and uh, all I can say is if in doubt just don't touch it. So we've got the ingredients now. Um, what you'll need for a 10 litre batch of elderflower champagne sparkling wine is 16 of the elderflower heads, 1600 grams of sugar, two large lemons, two tablespoons of white wine vinegar and yeast nutrient if you've actually got it, 10 litres of water. You'll also need a fermenting bucket that holds 10 litres of uh, water or liquid um, and an airlock as well. So all I'm doing here is sanitising the uh, bucket that I'm going to be fermenting in. Just make sure everything's clean before we get going. So the two lemons, uh, just taking the peel off, not the pith, and uh, we've got the juice and that's all ready to go as well. So what I'm doing here, I'm adding the sugar to the bucket and then I'm going to add two litres of boiled water to, to, to dissolve that sugar and then I'm going to top it up to 10 litres with cold water and then get that to a nice room temperature. If you have the means to do, try and do this part in the sink and then just top it up with the cold water and you can see it there going up and then you just turn that tap off and it all should be good. So it's time to prep the elderflower leaf. Um, shake them off first, you can do that as soon as you cut them. And then when you bring them home, give them another shake, any little bugs off if there's any there. Then you can dip them in the water and then trim off all the flowers straight into the fermented bucket um, and like I say 16 heads so a bit of work there but it's not too strenuous. So you can see the stems here, all the flowers are now in the bucket, nice pile of flowers in the bucket and then you start to add your other ingredients. So the first thing to go in is that lemon peel and that lemon juice. So now it's time to add the white wine vinegar. So basically the lemons, the lemon juice, peel the white wine vinegar is just to add some acidity and it'll help get that fermentation kicking off. 
I'm adding some um, yeast nutrient here, if you've got it. It's just to try and help that wild yeast that I'm hoping uh, is already on them elderflowers. Uh, just to give them a bit of food really and uh, to get a good fermentation. So really the last part here is just bringing it all together, giving it a soft stir um, and then what I do, I put a lid on it with an airlock. You could just put now a tea towel over it um, and hopefully uh, get that wild fermentation kicking off. But I've, had, I've been successful in the past doing it with the lid and the airlock. So I'm just showing you now the elderflower wine coming together. It's in the fermentation bucket, um, airlock's on. But it's just showing you that this is last year's elderflower. It's still in secondary, still doing well. Then I moved into last year's bottled version of elderflower. Got one bottle left. And then there's also a saison that I used, the elderflower yeast from the very first fermentation. So you see that I am going to get plenty of use out of these elderflowers. So that's it, that's all come together. Um, I'll leave that now, uh, probably fermented for about three or four weeks, um, maybe a bit longer, because it's obviously it's gonna be a wild yeast fermentation. So the longer, the better. Uh, then I'll secondary it, then I'll bottle it, and then I'll enjoy it. And I could enjoy it in the next, say, six weeks, or I could leave it, like I say, 12 months. And then what I'll do, that yeast from that initial fermentation I'll brew a Saison beer and ferment it with that yeast. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.